Hello, my name is Kim Forsyth and I'm a workflow consultant. This video will explore the automatic roll forward process within CCH Access Workstream. Ideally, you want the roll forward process to happen automatically at some point. But you may also have a situation arise that you need to manually roll forward a project. The general rules for roll forward are defined in each project template. The best practice would be to have the program automatically roll a project forward when it's completed or if it's linked to a tax return within CCH Access Tax when that tax return is rolled. For instance, when the project was completed, the program can fall back on the roll forward rules that were defined for the template that was used to create that project. Once the project is automatically rolled forward, somebody at the firm needs to be responsible for approving the projects to be available for others within Workstream. At our firm, I'm responsible for approving certain types of projects. I'm going to approve a batch of projects all at once. I started with the default view, Roll Forward Approver, and I added two filters, a project ID, and at our firm, we have a custom field that we can check if the return is the final return for the client. So I have one custom view to approve projects and I have another custom view that I can decline those projects from being approved. Once I select the group of projects to approve, I can go up to the Manage ribbon and choose Approve Roll Forward on the Administrative group, or I can right mouse click and choose Approve Roll Forward there. After I approve the roll forward process, a screen pops up asking if I want to review each of the project's settings and make any edits individually, or I can choose the roll forward button instead, which would allow me to create those new projects and choose a new project ID and new project names. So it is very beneficial to start with your view based on a specific type of project. So you can do this in batch and replace all of those new projects with a new ID and new name all at the same time. Once those projects have been approved, they'll be available within Workstream for others. Another option for rolling project forward is a manual process. Refer to the additional video on CCH Access Workstream, how to roll forward projects manually. So, so to recap, consider setting up a custom field that you can check when you know a return is going to be the final return. Use the automatic roll forward process often because it's going to make the roll forward process and approval happen a lot quicker. Refer to this Walters Clore Tax and Accounting YouTube channel for additional videos on how to create custom views, adding a custom field to projects, and manually rolling projects forward. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope you found it interesting and informative. For additional resources, click on the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.